welcome back or welcome if you've not been before to the Citizen Channel our look back at Manchester City 3 Aston Villa 1 the player rating show where we're in the company of Mr Simon Bukowski from the Manchester Evening News this week with his ratings and I'll give you my little ratings as well yeah not a bad win I think uh, took the foot off the pedal a little bit in the second half and uh, let Villa back in it but uh, yeah I'll take that first half performance uh, all day long just uh, need to do it a little bit longer and perhaps uh, yeah, uh, with Arsenal coming up, uh, perhaps it's put us in the right mood. Let's hope so. It was a 4.30pm kickoff, of course, match day 22. So please, if you are new to the channel, please push that subscribe button, push the bell notifications. It'd be great to have you on board. Everything City, past, present and forever, of course, on this channel. Lots of vlogs, uh, lots of history stuff, lots of current stuff as well. So it'd be great to have your support. And if you're pushing buttons over here, push that button. Just push that little button as well. I'm trying to get the target of 15 to 20 likes for these vlogs. Not, not a high target. If you can help me towards it, it'd be most appreciated. Right, let's have a look. Let's go straight on to the ratings uh, for this game. Uh, of course, as I said, Simon Murkowski's for the Manchester Evening News. I'll give you my little two penny worth after. This is just based on being at the game, uh, on what I've seen. I've not watched the game back. So please let me know your thoughts as well, guys, because it's just, just what I see while I'm there. It's always a little bit different, isn't it? But hey, not too much. There's a couple of, couple of differences to Simon today, so we'll get on to it. Right, let's start at number one. Let's start at our number one. Well, he's not the number one on the squad sheet, is he? Uh, let's start with Edison. Didn't seem to do as much as he could, said Simon. Have, have done when Watkins scored, but better in the late Villa charge, including a great tip over from Coutinho. Yeah, it was okay from Coutinho. It was a, a reasonable save, a save I'd expect a goalkeeper to make. Uh, Simon's given him a seven. I'm going to give him a six. I'm a bit disappointed with the goal. I have no idea. It's, it's as though he didn't do anything. Um, I'm not too sure what his positioning was like, how he was balanced. I'm not too sure, but if I've made it far too easy for uh, Watkins to score that goal. So I'm not going to... I mean, seven seems a bit high to me. I'll, I'll give him give him a six. He might be a little bit fortunate to get that as well. Uh, as I said, OK, he made one or two OK things, but, uh, yeah, very disappointing. I just, he just didn't seem to do anything. Uh, you've got to do something, spread yourself or move or something. It, and I've watched it back on the highlights and I still can't figure out what decision he made and why he did it. Anyway, on to Walker. Simon said, took his eye off the ball to allow Villa in late on, but otherwise a solid show as he looks to reclaim his spot. He's given a six. Well, I'm opposite to Simon again here. I thought, I thought Walker just looked right for me today, uh, despite Lewis, and I'm not, nothing against Lewis. He's a cracking little player, of course he is, but he just seems to all look a little bit better with Walker. I don't know why he certainly did today. I'm not too sure what Simon's talking about, about the... The, the late uh, thing there, but I thought he played well. I'm going to give him a seven. I thought I thought Walker, considering how many game minutes he's had recently, I thought he played very, very well. Hey, Lee, Lewis might be in trouble. Lewis, yeah, Lee, we'll have to watch his spot, won't he? Old Rico. Diaz Simon said, gave what City have missed from him, organising the back line and putting his body on the line to keep Villa out. Yes, we, want, we wanted Diaz to come back, didn't we? We just needed it. And there's some critics of him, of course. There's some critics on every player that City have played. But, uh, yeah, excellent. Just welcome back, I've wrote here. Simon, give him a seven. I've given him a seven and a half. I just put well, welcome back. It's as simple as that. Laporte, similar similar feelings for me, actually. Uh, I put welcome back for this one as well. Simon said, some important blocks when the score was nil-nil in an assured return to the team. He's given him seven. Yeah, I've given him a seven as well. And he said, welcome back. Bernardo, yeah, Simon said, filled in at left back when City needed him but still kind of threat when he brought the ball forward. Such a useful player to have. Well, we know that, Simon, don't we? Simon's given him an eight. Yeah, I mean, I'll give him a seven. Yes, a better display from Bernardo. He's been in, in a little bit of a dip, I think, the last two or three games. And I think uh, one thing I did, didn't did like was the fact he had two bites of the cherry before losing it, and obviously that led to the Villa goal. But he should have, I thought he should have done a little bit better. It's not like Bernardo to lose it. He'd lost it, and then he got it back, and then he lost it again. Um which is say if you do that against someone like Arsenal and it's nil nil. But hey, apart from that, as I said, one of his better games of the last three or four he's played. So I give him a seven, Simon give him an eight. Rodri, Simon said, where on earth was this Rodri last week? Well, it was at Tottenham, Monty. A man transformed with added goal threat. Simon's given him an eight. I give him a seven and a half. A fine, a great, a good goal, cracking at last. He, we always should score more with the height we've got, I think, from set pieces. And it looks as though we worked on it. They had three in the line, didn't they, Diaz? I think Laporte and um, 
and Rodri and they all split and obviously he left his marker and of course it was too hard for the keeper to keep out but uh, I didn't quite notice him as much in the second half I mean especially when we came under a little bit of pressure from Villa they had uh, three or four reasonable chances and as I say I didn't notice him so much where he was covering or what he was doing so I'll give him a seven and a half but uh, of course most people are raving over him, so who am I to disagree particularly? Simon's given me an eight. Gundogan, connected to the attacking away, has struggled to be of late. Captain the team well too, says Simon. He's been very generous today. He's given me an eight. I, I thought, yes, I've given him a seven. Played well, but he certainly should have played Haaland in the first half to score a goal. And I think I count at least three shots that were basic back passes to the keeper. He just, you know, his, his shooting was just... Just, just didn't trouble the keeper. Simple as that. You know, he's got, you're going to have, have shots at least trouble the keeper, and they didn't. They were just either too weak or straight at him. So, yeah, I'm going to give him a seven, but I was a bit despondent with that. Even though he scored a goal, he scored a goal, so I shouldn't be that critical, should I? But I, th I think he could have uh, perhaps had a couple and certainly had an assist for Haaland as well. De Bruyne, as Simon said, his best performance for a good while. Yes, I'd agree. With aggressive pressing and supreme touch and awareness of play. He's given him a 7. I'm going to give him a 6.5. He had one fantastic little run about halfway through the first half, I think, from memory, where he sort of beat players and the ball bounced off players and he managed to get control of it. He played some two or three nice balls during the game. A lot of the stuff didn't quite come off, but... Uh, I say, I think, I think Kev's uh, hopefully, hopefully, he's on his way back to some sort of form now into the last half. Well, well into the last half of the uh, of the of the league season now. Simon give him a seven, I give him a six point five. I'm a hard taskmaster, aren't I? But uh, that's how it is. Right, who's next? Who's next? Mares, here we go. An assist a goal from the penalty spot, said Simon, despite his earlier woes this season. And another excellent performance. Yes, I can't disagree with that. Uh, I, I, but I will say something different. Simon's given him an eight again. I'll give him a seven and a half. I'm not sure what that was at the end of the game where he blasted it over the bar. 4-1 would have looked nicer than 3-1, even though I did predict 3-1, so I'm happy with that. Uh, but a uh, good job he scored the penalty. I was a bit mixed uh, in the South Stand. We were shouting for Ireland to take it. And I think the celebrations were a bit muted because I think most of us wanted Ireland to take it a little bit disappointed. It's horrible to say that, isn't it? But uh, it's just a fact of life, all right? We're 2-0 up going into half-time. Was it a pressure penalty? Probably not. So, you know, is it going to be a pressure penalty where Maris is going to miss it again? Who knows? But uh, a bit disappointed it should have been Ireland that took it. But overall, discount that penalty. At least he's got the balls to step up and take it, hasn't he? Which is credit to him. So, as I said, if Simon's given him an eight, I give him a seven and a half. Grealish, Simon said, effective again, earning a goal by being brought down for a penalty. Yeah, a bit, bit soft, but hey, if you make contact, you go. If it's enough to, to knock you over, it's enough to knock you over. Uh, causing Villa trouble with his runs. He did. Uh, I thought he played very well. A lot of pressure on him, of course. The Villa fans booing every touch he made. Uh, Simon's given a seven. I've given a seven. Not a lot wrong. Uh, good contribution. Won a penalty, so all good for me. Ireland, Simon said, excellent pace to create the second goal. It was, although looked trouble from a few knocks and only lasted the first half. Hopefully he's OK. Hopefully there's no problems. Pep said he'll we'll have to wait and see till tomorrow. But if it had been a tight game, he would have carried on playing him. So hopefully, you know, our physios and doctors know enough to, to sort of uh, not allow Pep to say that. So we'll see. We'll see if he doesn't end up playing on Wednesday. We'll have to shuffle the pack, won't we, and play play with our Roman midfielders. But, uh, yeah, I thought he played all right. I thought Ireland oh, played very, very well. Excellent for that second. It looked so it could have been a tap-in, and then it didn't work for him. He managed to get it across for, for Gundogan to score the goal. Uh, I thought he played uh, some excellent stuff. I just wish he'd taken the penalty as well to get another goal. But, hey, we can't have everything, can we? Substitutes. A kanji for Diaz on 46 minutes. So for, well, come on for the second half. And Simon said, doesn't quite carry the leadership and bone-crunching challenge that Diaz does. And played in City into trouble near the end. Yeah, I thought he started OK. I thought it was fine. Uh, so I'm going to give him a 5. Um... A little bit harsh. I'm only giving him a 5.5, so it's a bit less than 6. But uh, he had that brain fart, as Simon's intimated there. But I think he should have done a little bit better with the goal as well. I, th I thought the ball had been played behind and the, the guy, the striker, was was sort of well ahead of Akanji and Akanji might struggle to get across. But I thought Akanji sort of did get across but didn't really defend it that well. So 
Yes, not not great. Perhaps he's not a guy who brings on a sub. Perhaps a Kanji is better when he plays from the start. I'm not too sure, but not the greatest today from a Kanji coming on as a substitute. So Sam give him a five. As I said, I give him a five point five. Alvarez for Haaland again that starts second half, forty six minutes. Simon said a few half chances and works his way back to win the ball. Well, yeah, the thing with Alvarez because I'm up the other end in the south stand, I probably didn't get a great view of what he did contribute. As I said, I've literally just seen the goal highlights and a couple of action highlights. I mean, Times given him a seven based on what I remember and what I see at the game. I've only given him a six. Uh, once or twice he appeared to sort of break free uh, and not quite lay it off correctly or finish it off. So, as I say, I, I would be open for criticism on that one because, as I said, it's difficult to gauge a player, certainly like Alvarez, who you see up the, is up the other end and it's hard to tell. But uh, uh, I'll do a six. That's not a bad score for a sub. I'm not going to give him any less than that. And Foden, yeah, I'm not going to mark Foden. He wasn't on the pitch long enough. But uh, Simon said, couldn't settle instantly into the rhythm. Perhaps no surprise. Well, it isn't a surprise, is it? He's not been playing. And at least he got 20, 25 minutes on the pitch, which is... Uh, that's that's what we can take out of it, I think. So, uh, as I say, nothing, nothing spectacular that I remember when he was on the pitch. But there you go, guys. Let me know what your scores are, what your player ratings are. Uh, I think City gave man of the match to Rodri. Let's say, who am I? Who am I to question that? I'm not. I'm not going to question it. I'll go with it. As I said, although I think uh, in the second half when we perhaps needed a defensive midfield, he, he went missing a couple of times. But hey. So what do I what do I know about football and tactics? It's obviously everyone thinks raving over him, so I will. But let me know who you thought your man of the match was. If I didn't give it Rodri, who would I give it to? That, that's the interesting thing. Um, if I wasn't going to give it him, I've not even looked at it because I was just going with Rodri. Yeah, I would give it one of the defenders. I'd, get, I'd probably give it Diaz. If I wasn't going to give it Rodri. Uh, in fairness, Diaz or... Yeah, definitely. Yeah, definitely Diaz. I'd give it Diaz if, if I didn't give it Rodri. As I say, so there you go. That's my opinion. Let me know what yours is. It'd be great to hear from you. I will get the uh, Talking Points show out with the match stats and facts. That'll be out sometime Monday mid-morning, something like that. So I'll come back. I'll write that up tonight before I go to bed. I'm not in work tomorrow, so I'll be able to write up. I'll be able to do that tonight and just chill out then after for a couple of hours before I go and get my head down. So... So, all good stuff. Join me for that talking point. Hope you enjoyed this. Please uh, let me know with all your comments. It'd be great to hear from you as usual. Thanks for joining me. Until we meet again, that's one thing, don't I? Please stay safe, Blues. Come on, City. Bye for now. <laughs>